This Ukraine crisis that we're in right now, this is just a warm-up, Navy Admiral Charles Richard, Commander Stratcom said. The big one is coming, and it isn't going to be very long before we're going to get tested in ways that we haven't been tested in a long time. What's going on, everyone? Uh, This isn't so much an article as it is a speech, but I got a couple articles I put in the description below that add a little context and outline some of Admiral Richard's speech that he gave just a few days ago at the Naval Submarine League's 2022 annual symposium. So he says, we have to do some rapid, fundamental change in the way we approach the defense of this nation. Competitors like China are out-competing the United States and in a dramatic fashion. The U.S. must step up its deterrence game, he said, or it's going to be bowled over. And we'll get into some of the specific examples here. He says, as I assess our level of deterrence against China, the ship is slowly sinking. It is sinking slowly, but it is sinking. As fundamentally, they are putting capability in the field faster than we are. As those curves keep going, it isn't going to matter how good our operating plan is or how good our commanders are or how good our forces are. We're not going to have enough of them. And that is a very near-term problem. What he's talking about are more systems than individuals. I know in the war in Ukraine, there's been a lot of talk about manpower. Uh, individual soldiers, especially as Russia uh, mobilizes some troops, the two to 300,000 troops they've recently mobilized. And then the conversation turns to how much of an impact do you know untrained or, or lightly trained soldiers have on the modern battlefield. Different discussion that we're having here. What I believe Admiral Richard is looking at is more of the, the systems. China turning out, churning out more aircraft, more missiles, Uh, more submarines, maybe, in a faster manner than we are here in the United States. He continues, undersea capabilities is the one, maybe the only true asymmetric advantage we still have against our opponents, Richard said. But unless we pick up the pace in terms of getting our maintenance problems fixed, getting new construction going, if we can't figure that out, we're not going to put ourselves in a good position to maintain strategic deterrence and national defense. So I guess if we're going to hear uh, that the submarine program is still an advantage, it's good to hear it from uh, someone like Admiral Richard. This is an area that I thought was interesting. He said, quote, we used to know how to move fast, and we've lost the art of that, he said. One example he provided was that the AGM-28 Hound Dog cruise missile, which entered service in 1960, he said, quote, the Air Force went from a request, almost written on a napkin, when they figured out in the late 1950s that the Soviet integrated air defense systems were getting to the point that the B-52 just wasn't going to make it in, and we needed a thing called up cruise missile. So they envisioned what a standoff weapon looked like. The U.S. military was able to deliver the Hound Dog cruise missile in 33 months. So less than three years from the back of a napkin to mounting it on B-52s. I don't know a whole lot about that system, but it does... That's a stark difference than what we're dealing with today. If you think of how long it takes for new aircraft, new weapon systems, new rifles, anything to go through the testing and the competition process and the design and the sourcing, and um, there's a lot to that. It's not a simple solution, but something worth thinking about for sure. Richards wraps up by saying, quote, we used to ask questions in this nation, which is, which is what's it going to take? Is it money? Is it people? Do you need authorities? What risk? That's how we got to the moon by 1969. We need to bring some of that back. Otherwise, China is simply going to outcompete us, and Russia isn't going anywhere anytime soon. I think he ends with a valid point here. Uh, I always get a little bit concerned when uh, the, the question is, how much money is it going to cost? Because not everything is necessarily solved by money. Um, but he's he's... I think taking a good approach to we have some problems out there that we need to look at, whether it's manpower, whether it's technology, whether it's any sort of uh, other resources, what is needed to get us back on a level playing field competing with China. And again, I think it's worth pointing out here that he's not saying China has surpassed the U.S. militarily, but if we watch some of these trends, we have to make some adjustments or that could be the case in the relatively near future. Again, as a caveat, he doesn't put a date on that. He doesn't say if that's a five-year problem or a 50-year problem. He says near term, so you can interpret that as you will. But either way, I thought it was an interesting article. Let me know what you think, and that will do it for now. We'll see you all next time.